welcome to bsc statistics students now I explain in this class test for two means problems problems on test for two means consider problem number 2 i have explained one particular problem in a case that where sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 is equal to sigma is known that is sigma is known case in this in this particular problem another case i consider another case sigma 1 sigma 2 are two particular values that is population standard deviations which are not known sigma 1 is not known sigma 2 is not known in such a case what we have to do that is this particular problem okay i repeatedly explaining that first of all we have to see whether the problem is one sample problem or two sample problem you please recognize you see here first of all read the problem two three times so that you can easily understand that whether the problem is one sample or two samples a random sample of size height random sample of heights of 6400 men of the state andhra pradesh has a mean 170 centimeters and standard deviation 6.4 centimeters you please first write the data a sample of a random sample of heights of 6400 men that is n1 is equal to 6400 of the state andhra pradesh has a mean 170 centimeters that is the mean of these four these 6400 men for example they are participating in a some certain competition and for which the heights are measured and the average height is the mean is 170 centimeters that is x bar is equal to 170 centimeters and then with and standard deviation is 66.4 centimeters that is s1 sample standard deviation s1 is equal to 6.4 centimeters that is the data of a particular Andhra Pradesh, a random sample is considered and the data is given that n1 is equal to this x bar and s1 which are given and read uh, continue uh, continue reading the problem while a random sample of heights of 1600 men of the state Punjab that is two sample problem it is a problem of two samples remember it is a problem of two samples because one sample is from for from the Andhra Pradesh it is taken one sample is taken from the state Punjab so therefore two sample related problem it is a two sample related problems right so therefore uh, it has 1600 the heights of 1600 men that is n2 is equal to 1600 and whereas uh, the mean of uh, this this uh, uh, this group uh, 1600 men this group of 1600 men a sample of 1600 men it is 172 centimeters that is y bar is equal to 172 and and standard deviation 6.3 centimeters s2 is equal to 6.3 centimeters those this is what the data up to here the data is given n1 n2 x bar y bar s1 s2 is got given now continue the reading continue reading the problem do the data conclude that punjab men are on an average taller than the andhra pradesh men the question is the punjab whether the punjab men are uh, taller than the andhra pradesh men on an average that is the question so by verifying the question you have to write uh, null and alternative hypothesis and before that we see one case here what is the case there is no sigma sigma 1 sigma 2 there is no sigma population standard deviation in the problem only the data is this that's all n1 x bar s1 n2 y bar s2 that's all therefore there is no sigma population standard deviation therefore the case is sigma 1 comma sigma 2 are not known what do we do in this case in this case sigma 1 is estimated by s1 that is sigma 1 cron is equal to s1 is equal to 6.4 and sigma 2 is estimated with s2 that is sigma 2 cron is equal to s2 is equal to 6.3 it is given so therefore sigma 1 sigma 2 are estimated with s1 and s2 now we write the 
null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis by seeing the values here, right? Therefore, uh, write the null hypothesis h naught mu one is equal to mu two. That is because it's a mean test, two sample mean test. Uh, because uh, the means are given, therefore it is a mean test. Based on the mean test, we have to conduct the test procedure. The average heights of Andhra Pradesh and Punjab men are equal. He was asked the question about whether the Punjab men are on an average taller than Andhra Pradesh men. That is question he was asked. But whereas you have to consider the null hypothesis that equal to statement. That is that not taller than. That is their heights are same. Not taller than in the sense that their heights are same. The, their average heights are same. That is we are considering null hypothesis h naught mu 1 is equal to mu 2. That is average heights of Andhra Pradesh and Punjab men are equal. And alternative hypothesis h1 mu 1 less than mu 2. That is uh, it is one tile test. Mu 1 represent the average height of Andhra Pradesh. Mu 2 represents average height of Punjab men. So therefore mu 2 is taller. That is mu 2 is more then uh, we can specify that Punjab men are taller, taller than the Andhra Pradesh men. So that is the statement it is going to be considered from the statement that is given on the question given in the problem. In the question he was asked whether the Punjab men on an average taller than Andhra Pradesh men. That is same thing we have to consider in the alternative hypothesis that H1 mu1 less than mu2 that is one tile test and Punjab men are taller than Andhra Pradesh men on an average. So, test strategic under H0. This, here we have already discussed case 2. What is case 2? Sigma 1 and Sigma 2 are not known, not specified, not given. Therefore, Z is equal to, in this case, Z is equal to X bar minus Y bar divided by square root of S1 square by N1 plus S2 square by N2. That is equivalent to be 170, substitute the values, X bar. 170 minus y bar 172 divided by square root of s1 square by n1 6.4 whole square divided by n1 6400 plus s2 square 6.3 whole square divided by n2 1600. So calculate this value and you will get some particular minus 11.32. Therefore, uh, come to the part of comparison and conclusion or inference. In inference, what you have to write first modulus of z. That is 11.32, it is minus, because of modulus, we have considered a positive, purely a positive value, 11.32. You check the value and now, no need not to consider Z alpha, Z alpha is significant value. It, it is not to be, it is, it is need not to consider because it is always greater than 3. Since uh, modulus is greater than 3, H naught is always rejected. What is H0? Yeah, H0 is rejected, which, which means uh, H1 is accepted. What is H1? Punjab men on an average are taller than the Andhra Pradesh men. So that is right, that is true. Therefore, since uh, H0 is rejected, H1 is accepted. Since H1 is accepted, Punjab men are on an average taller than Andhra Pradesh men. That is our conclusion. Hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you very much.